number one, congratulations to him. I mean, uh, he's put in a lot of time and a lot of hours. Um, he eats, sleeps, and breathes baseball. Um, and uh, on top of that, he's gone through a little bit of adversity with some, with some minor injuries and, and having to get over those and learn to compete, uh, not at 100% every day. Um, my hat's off to him to figuring it out on the way through the system. And then uh, now he's going to get his opportunity at the big show. Uh, he's going to hit. You know, he's going to hit. Uh, he's got he's got gap to gap power. He's got occasional, uh, you know, pop power um, to the opposite field too. I've seen him hit uh, balls off the scoreboard in Lexington, um, and uh, he's going to play hard in the outfield. He's going to play. He's going to run everything out. He's going to play the game the right way, and uh, I think he's going to be a pleasant surprise and a breath of fresh air. Uh, and he's a consummate professional. He's constantly worried and thinking about what he can do next to be best. Sometimes that's his own worst enemy. But uh, <laughs> but he's he, he wants to be better, and he's going to get better because he, he constantly is looking for the information. Overall, he's, he's teachable. Um, you know, when you, get a, when you get a player that'll come to you and ask their own questions, that's special because not every player has the aptitude to come and ask questions. Um, not, every, not every player is not... Um, Sometimes they're scared to come ask questions. JD's not scared. Uh, it doesn't matter what, what the question is. He's going to ask it, whether uh, no, no minuscule, uh, whatever the information is. Um, so for me, he's able to take that information and apply it, and apply it in his own way so that it works. Uh, he's able to take information that doesn't work and throw it out the door. And he's starting to learn how to uh, uh, apply his game with today's knowledge and today's information, and that's what's going to make him dangerous. My biggest information for him was to keep it simple. You know, uh, sometimes he'll he'll overanalyze, and uh, you just got to bring him back to earth and let him, and just tell him to go BJD and hit the ball and uh, keep it simple, and that's that's when he's most successful. He's got a good spirit. He's a good guy. He, he enjoys being around the other players. He enjoys, uh, you know, I've seen him help out other players and, and make the other players better. By, by by letting him be around and, and uh, you know sharing information with them, and he's not scared to uh, um, with the right guys. He's not scared to hold other people accountable. And likewise, you know, he likes it when people hold him accountable. You know, um, he enjoys that kind of camaraderie, and uh, he's going to be a special part.